A stranger came upon an ancient ruin. In its stone were carved the following words. If it is the wisdom of the platonic solids you seek, then through the pentagonal cave you must pass. The stranger headed for the cave. Beyond the cave was an extraordinary new dimension unlike anything the stranger had ever experienced. A disembodied voice began a rhythmic chant. It seemed foreign yet oddly familiar. Welcome, stranger. You have entered the realm of the platonic solids and shown yourself worthy of its wisdom. May it serve you well. A fantastic multidimensional vision emerged. The first most basic shape is the point. No dimensions has the point. No length, no width, no height. Two points connected make the second simplest shape, the line. Just one dimension has the line length. Three lines make the simplest two-dimensional shape, the equilateral triangle. Equilateral means all the sides are equal. The equilateral triangle exists in two dimensions, height and width, no depth. It takes four equilateral triangles to make the simplest three-dimensional shape. Lay three equilateral triangles together on the plane, point to point. Allow their bodies to rise up out of the plane until their outer edges meet. Place the fourth equilateral triangle on the top. The tetrahedron is formed. Tetra means four. Hedron means faces. The tetrahedron has three dimensions, height, width, and depth. The tetrahedron is the first of the platonic solids. A platonic solid must have the same regular polygon for each of its faces and the same number of faces meeting together at each corner. A regular polygon must be a two-dimensional shape with all sides of equal length and all the corners of the same angle. Some examples of regular polygons are the equilateral triangle, the square, the pentagon, the hexagon. Lay four equilateral triangles together on the plane, point to point. Allow their bodies to rise up out of the plane until their outer edges meet. Repeat the process. Lay one set on top of the other. The octahedron is formed. Octa means eight. Hedron means faces. Lay five equilateral triangles together on the plane, point to point. Allow their bodies to rise up out of the plane until their outer edges meet. Place five more equilateral triangles around the rim. Repeat the process. Lay one set on top of the other. The icosahedron is formed. Icosa means 20. Hedron means faces. Lay six equilateral triangles together on the plane, point to point. Their bodies have no room to rise up out of the plane. They cannot enter the third dimension. No more platonic solids can be formed with equilateral triangles. Lay three squares together on the plane, point to point. Allow their bodies to rise up out of the plane until their outer edges meet. Repeat the process. Lay one set on top of the other. The cube is formed. The cube is also known as the hexahedron. Hexa means six. Hedron means faces. Lay four squares together on the plane, point to point. Their bodies have no room to rise up out of the plane. They cannot enter the third dimension. No more platonic solids can be formed with squares. Lay three pentagons together on the plane, point to point. Allow their bodies to rise up out of the plane until their outer edges meet. Place three more pentagons around the rim. Repeat the process. Lay one set on top of the other. The dodecahedron is formed. Dodeca means 12. Hedron means faces. It is impossible to lay four pentagons together on the plane, point to point. No more platonic solids can be formed with pentagons. Lay three hexagons together on the plane, point to point. Their bodies have no room to rise up out of the plane. They cannot enter the third dimension. 
No platonic solids can be formed with hexagons. It is impossible to lay three heptagons together on the plane, point to point. No platonic solids can be formed with heptagons. You have now seen all five platonic solids, the tetrahedron, the octahedron, the icosahedron, the cube or hexahedron, and the dodecahedron. No other three-dimensional shapes exist having the same number of identical regular polygon faces meeting at each corner. Take a cube, connect the centers of its faces. A small octahedron is formed inside the cube. Let the octahedron grow. A star-shaped structure is formed. This is a stellated polyhedron. Stellar means star. Eventually, the octahedron completely encloses the cube. Take an octahedron, connect the centers of its faces. A small cube is formed inside the octahedron. Let the cube grow. The same stellated polyhedron is formed. Eventually, the cube completely encloses the octahedron. Because of this relationship between the cube and the octahedron, they are known as a dual pair. Take a dodecahedron, connect the centers of its faces. A small icosahedron is formed inside the dodecahedron. Let the icosahedron grow. A stellated polyhedron is formed. Eventually, the icosahedron completely encloses the dodecahedron. Take an icosahedron, connect the centers of its faces. A small dodecahedron is formed inside the icosahedron. Let the dodecahedron grow. The same stellated polyhedron is formed. Eventually, the dodecahedron completely encloses the icosahedron. The dodecahedron and the icosahedron form a dual pair. Take a tetrahedron, connect the centers of its faces. A second, smaller tetrahedron is formed inside the original tetrahedron. Let the new tetrahedron grow. A stellated polyhedron is formed. Eventually, the second tetrahedron completely encloses the first tetrahedron. A tetrahedron forms a dual pair with itself. You have seen that the five platonic solids can be divided into three dual pairs, the cube and the octahedron, the dodecahedron and the icosahedron, and the tetrahedron and itself. At each corner of the cube, three faces meet, each having four sides. At each corner of the octahedron, four faces meet, each having three sides. At each corner of the dodecahedron, three faces meet, each having five sides. At each corner of the icosahedron, five faces meet, each having three sides. At each corner of the tetrahedron, three faces meet, each having three sides. Now that you have gained the wisdom of the platonic solids, you must take leave of this realm. May it serve you well. The stranger passed back through the pentagonal cave to the world beyond. It was the same world as before, but in the stranger's eyes, it would never look the same again. <laughs>